Hi, it's Charlie Bengal, and today I'm in Brookville, Maryland, and my special guest is Tiffany Stone from our Georgetown office. Tiffany, tell us about this amazing property. Yeah, we're at 19416 Brookville Lakes Court. Uh, this is a gorgeous estate home. Uh, the list price is 1.395, and it sits on two, a little more than two acres. A beautiful, beautiful, nice, serene lot. So I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Let's check it out. Now we're inside, beautiful foyer. Talk to me a little bit more about the house. How many bedrooms, baths, and levels? Uh, four bedrooms okay. plus a bonus room, five full baths, mm -hmm. three levels. They finished the basement. It's Great. a case remodel, so okay. they spared no expense. Um, this level has two half baths, mm -hmm. a family room, living room, dining room, breakfast room, and an expansion, a really, really expanded kitchen. Tons of room for entertaining on this level. Gosh, amazing. This house is amazing. Great. So now we're in the living room. Talk to yes. me about this space and fireplace number one. Yes. Um, gorgeous, sun-filled living room. Um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful space. Uh, notice the crown molding, mm -hmm. um, just the detail. The house has been freshly painted, uh, very neutral color. Um, so it just, it just shows so well. And this is the sunroom again, just light-filled. I mean, it's just a great space to come out and do some reading. Yeah, this is a really cool uh, Isn't it neat? And now we are in their family room. Um, this actually has doors that lead to a slate mm -hmm. patio. There's actually two slate patio areas. So this room also includes a brick encased fireplace. It's a dual fireplace, so you can access it from both sides. Yeah, this is one of the cooler fireplaces I've I know. ever seen. Right? I know, isn't yeah. that neat? Now we're on the other side of the foyer. Yes. In the formal dining room. Talk to me about this space. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous dining room with, again, the moldings. Um, they have a beautiful archway. Mm -hmm. um, it's just rail. a really, yeah. really yeah. nice space. Just so elegant. Yeah, it's just it's beautiful. Plenty of room for I know. For yes. Yeah, very good. Big holiday dinners, right? <laughs> Huge expanded kitchen with upgraded appliances, a fireplace. The list goes on. Tell me more about this space. Yes. Um, they have the Miele coffee. Mm -hmm. They have a warming drawer. Nice. There are two dishwashers in the space, an under counter microwave. They even have the oven that has the heat oh, lamp. That's cool. All right. Um, just beautiful. And then these counters were all custom built, mm -hmm. um, just beautiful. Um, and then you have this counter where you can have stools here. You've got wine storage. Yes, mm -hmm. the Uline fridge, yep. which is huge. Um, and then this is, they used it as a breakfast room. The previous owners used it as a music room. So I call it, you know, it's like a breakfast slash bonus room. And this was part of the renovation where they took this wall down and made this whole space wide open. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So it was a major case yeah. design, and you yeah. know Case, yeah. they're the top of their game, they right? Are. Um, and they did it, they did a great job. Money well spent. Second floor off the foyer, tell me about this amazing level. So we have a palatial owner's suite mm -hmm. uh, with a completely gut renovated case, okay. remodeled mm -hmm. bathroom, and it's an official sitting room. Mm -hmm. um, but my client used it as her dressing room, yeah. and she just loved having that space. Very good. Uh, the other three bedrooms, what's so great about this, they all have dedicated bathrooms. Okay. Um, and they're freshly carpeted. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, I mean, they're, they're really spacious rooms. It's and then just, you've got what could be an office or a sitting area kind of towards the front of the house. Yes. And there is a back staircase. So okay. it's nice, I mean, for doing parties, yeah, events, for sure. things like that. So. That's great. Owner suite off the foyer, tell me about this space. This is a great space, as you can see, we have the vaulted mm -hmm. ceilings, we have this wonderful view um, overlooking this expansive backyard. Um, there are two wall closets as well as a walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see, this is actually the sitting room. Yes. But my client loves fashion. Right, they collect her clothes. As do I, yeah, as do like I. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so I can't be mad at her. Yeah. And um, she decided to add the Alpha shelving, mm -hmm. um, and she made it like her dressing room, which right. was which worked. Um, this could also be a sitting room. A super easy change to remove these. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. So, you know, I like that we're giving the new owners mm -hmm. an option, yep. you know, depending on what their needs are. Good. Let's but, check out the bathroom. Amazing primary bathroom and the shower. Really nice. Really something. I, I feel like I want to move in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, you have the dual head shower, mm -hmm. oversized. You have a little vanity area over there with storage. You have a beautiful soaking tub. You have dual sinks and you have a private water closet. Right, right. And uh, the sinks are really separated. Yeah. Separate rooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Everybody has their own space. Keep everybody happy. Um, and you have the linen closet, but it's just gorgeous. I mean, they just did everything really, really high end. They spared no expense. Great spot. Lower level, walk up, lots of entertaining space down here to say the least. Tell me about all of this, including this crazy room. Yes, so this was another gut renovation from Case. Um, this is a custom built wine mm -hmm. door and uh, wine cellar. Uh, there's also a full bath down here, and we have this wet bar entertainment area. Um, they also have a media room. Right. The whole house has been... Another uh, fireplace. I know, and then, I know. And then areas for guests on the other side of that. Yes, right? so it could be used as a bedroom. It's okay. not official. Okay. Um, you know, and then they have the Sono system, mm. and the projector and all of that equipment all conveys. Yep, if it's here, it stays. Yes. Great. So, it's a great deal. Sure is. <laughs> Off the main level, looking over a huge yard, flat space, room to do whatever you want, including a pool. Tell me about the space. Yeah, look at this. More than two acres that backs to trees and mm -hmm. woods. It's so serene. Um, you have these two slate patios that overlooking all of this. You have a Weber grill that conveys. Um, it's just just a beautiful, just a beautiful, serene spot, right? So more than 7,000 square feet. Yes. Three car side load garage, which is yes. great. And we're in Brookville, Maryland, which is famous. Yes, tell us, Charlie, we exactly what happened. I'm surprised Brookville, you know. <laughs> Brookville, Maryland was the capital of the US for one day. During the War of 1812, the British set DC on fire and Madison had to flee and made this the capital for the day. Being so, an inside the Beltway guy, I didn't think you'd know, know that. Right? <laughs> so if you'd like more information on this beautiful estate in historic Brookville, Maryland, reach out to my friend, Tiffany Stone. Tiffany, it's been great to hang out with you today. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. I appreciate it.